Is it considered a mukbang if you're just having pizza? <laughs> Hungry Howie is the best. Two pies for $10. Get on it. Mm, garlic crust, it's so good. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's not a mukbang, but I'm gonna give you the real tea on the Kylie Cosmetics Halloween collection. I just got it in the mail or I would have done it sooner. Okay, I'm doing the intro with no makeup on. That way we can find out how this palette works. I'm about to give you the tea on the Kylie Halloween collection, or in my case, the aloe drink. Just keep on watching if you're interested. Don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the Glam Fam. I'm gonna insert the intro right now. Let's do this. I just wanna show you all, if I don't wanna do you wrong. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the flies of them all? So as you can tell, I already have some foundation on. I have my eyebrows done. These are the things I was able to get from the collection. Got the palette, that's what the most the buzz is about. This is the packaging. The inside has these skulls. It did come with 3D glasses so that you're able to look at the palette in 3D. It's not all that I expected as far as 3D, but this is just a cute little novelty. Nobody cares about that. When you open up the package, because we're going to get right into it. We don't want to waste any time. You have this adorable... I think this is beautiful. The packaging is great, especially since even though it's Halloween, when you're using it, it looks like in any time of the year packaging. Then it has this insert, and it actually comes with a mirror, a very nice size mirror. These are the shades. I am going to just get right in and swatching them for you, but nothing says it better than how they perform on the eyes, so we are going to do an eye look today. I'm just going to swatch them. I'm going to swatch this minty green one here. It looks green in the palette. See, it's this one right here. It looks like a greenish color. It's showing gold on the camera, but it's really coming off brown. It's like a cool multi-dimensional color. I mean, I don't know if I'm that impressed with that shade. Let's do the next one. I'll leave the names in the description. That's a nice gold. Then we have this taupey color with a little bit of sparkle. That's a nice color. Let me get closer so you guys can really see. Then you have this orange. I'm most excited about this orange. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. That's a nice color. That's nice. Okay, moving right along, we have this deep kind of gold gray muted glitter very pretty matte transition color that pretty much everybody who's gotten this palette has used as a transition shade i probably will as well we'll see it's a beautiful transition shade though for my skin tone there's that i mean these are swatching really well we'll see how they work on the um eyes and we have this goldish color here this is like olivey gold and we have this beautiful purple. See, there were swatches online and people were saying it didn't swatch well. I think it swatches just fine. The matte olive color. Let's see if this swatches well. My only gripe about the palette so far without, um, you know, putting it on my eyes is that these little, when you swatch them, the little things spin. Look, I'm not making this stuff up. All of them, they're very loosely packed in there. Not going to be a problem with for me because I'm not, other than swatching it for you guys, I'm not going to swatch it again. Care about that because when I put my brush in there, it's probably not going to spin. We'll find out. Let me just show you what else I got in the collection, then we'll get right into the eyes. The highlighter, it has this cute little packaging here with these cute little ghosts. If you know Kylie's highlighters, they usually come in like a cardboard. This is actually made out of a plastic with the word, it's a fingerprint magnet for sure, but with the words Kylie embossed right in silver. You open it up, it has a lovely mirror, and this is the color and how pretty that is. It, this is the containers, it has the lips, then inside it has the same skull with the purple. This is the unicart in that it comes in. I think it's absolutely sleek and beautiful. And this is the color. Can you look at that? This is called Haunt It. I'm gonna swatch it on my arm, but I will be putting it on my lips. It's an orange, a bright, bright orange with a nice, gorgeous shimmer. That's not in the collection because it is Fall the Pumpkin Lip Oh, even though this is from an old collection or this is from her forever collection i am gonna put it on my lips and swatch it today for you guys website i ordered wisteria which is one of her loose highlighters i am going to prime my eyes some people say that that's not fair i say it is because you would prime your eyes and if you aren't you should you don't always have to get an expensive prime use a concealer any concealer you like just to make the shadow stick my eyes with the 24 hour shadow assurance by Too faced i'm gonna just tap that primer in with my Harley Quinn brush and blend nicely all over the lid. I'm going in with a soft blender to apply my transition shade. I am going to go in with right here. I'm just going to tap. There is a little bit of kickback. Whoa. 
and I'm just going to start bringing it right above my crease. Crease, I'm going in with the Morphe M433 crease brush. I love this brush, and I am going to go into, I want to do this purple, because I want to see if it's really sh crap like everybody says. So we are going to go into the crease with this purple. Let's take chances. I'm going to put it right on my outer V. I say place the shadows. You don't have to just like, boom, you can just tap the shadow in. See how that works? Then I'm going to bring it into my crease. With a clean blending brush, usually my real techniques, because it is one of the best blending brushes to blend out with, I am going to just blend it out to soften it up. I don't want to do a cut crease because I feel like if you put concealer that heavy under any eyeshadow, it's going to make any eyeshadow um, pigment show. So I want to give you guys a true look at how the eyeshadow works. So I'm going to go in with a lid brush. I will spray it though because you would normally spray it. I'm just going in with this e.l.f. lid brush. Real Badesco spray. Any spray will work. Fix Plus. Scandinavia. It doesn't matter. Water. And I am going to go into this shade right here. I want to see what that's going to do. You know, and we're just going to apply it right on the lid. Tell me that's not gorgeous. I don't want to be like, well, like loving, but I mean, this palette is very beautiful. And really the camera's not doing this color any justice. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go back in with the real techniques and just make sure there's no lines. Go back in with my Morphe 433 crease brush and go back into that purple. And I'm just going to deepen that again. Just the outer part. In the middle with a brighter color to make that eye look pop, I am going to take this shade right here, the gold, with my finger. Your finger is your best cosmetic tool that you have. And I'm going to tap it right in the middle of where I laid that other color. See? I wanted to use that yellow. I'm going to do many looks with this palette. That yellow is stunning. One last time going in with a buffer brush, I'm just going to buff around the edges. Very simple. This was an easy eye look. Anybody can do it. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. My husband brought him outside and my dog barks at like leaves that fall on the ground. It's insane. You know chihuahuas, they're nuts. They're all bark, no bite. <laughs> or sometimes they bite. Ankles. My Morphe E36. I don't have a code with Morphe, so you know I'm keeping it real. I'm going to go into that yellow right there just because I want to try it. And I'm going to dab it right in the inner. Oh, wait. Where are you, yellow? Oh, okay. It's really showing up. Because it is, it's yellow, but it's more like a yellow gold. It's, it reminds me of Trophy Wife by Rihanna. But only Trophy Wife is definitely more intense. This is more softened down. The Thrive, I feel like it gives lashes. We're just going to, I'm sure if you put this look with fake lashes, it would look amazing. I'm going to go back in with the Morphe E36. And I'm definitely going to go into the purple for the lower lash line. I don't know if you watched my brush video, but this is the best brush for lower lash line. And I'm going to bring it all the way up to that outer V. I'm going to go in with that color that I used on the lid. Oh, that's going to make it look really good. And I'm going to smoke that all the way. I'm just going to keep blending. I think it's worth the money. I love it. It's beautiful packaging. Great colors. Once again, a little kickback on the palette, but none on my face. As you can see, I didn't even have to dust off. So that's that. Let me know if you want more looks with this. I'm sure there's plenty of looks you can create. Challenge me, because I'll do it. Out this highlighter. I'm gonna try out both, but for my nose, I am going to use the Go Ghost. So I am going to put that on with my favorite highlighting brush, my Moda brush. I got this from Moda Cosmetics. I got it from Ipsy, my Ipsy Glam Bag. I am going to put this on my nose. That's a nice color. See, it doesn't come out ashy. Let's go ham. Let's put some up here. That's stunning. Look at that glow. Beautiful. You know what? We're even going to throw some in that inner corner or in that brow bone. Put some over here as well. That's beautiful. I'm going to put a little in the lid, just a small, tiny amount. Tap off. Are you guys like living for this or what? Especially for this time of year. I know that we're like over the festival period, but this could be used for this time of year. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love, are you guys like looking at this? And when you take pictures with these kind of highlighters, forget about it. It's a wrap. Now I'm going to apply the matte lipstick first. 
the the haunt it the orange because I mean that's not really gonna necessarily go with my look but I'm gonna apply it first because it's gonna be easier to take off than the lip kit then we'll go into the lip kit my hair is doing crazy things today and I hate when I go back on a video and look at my hair and it looks like all over the place okay how much you get it's a lot it has Kylie embossed inside the lipstick the packaging is just absolutely adorable. I don't know if orange is necessarily my color. The thing is, I don't own anything like it, and I hate to buy things that I already own. Unless you guys request it, then I'll buy it. This is going on so easy and so smooth. Little specs. First of all, the glitter on it is not gritty at all. I, honest to God, I can't even feel it. To show you guys the color up close, I love this color. Not saying it's for this eye look, but... It's, it's coming off on camera like as if it's one of those old school, like shiny lipsticks. It's not. It's literally glitter and it's so beautiful. You like how I have my like Thanksgiving themed? I mean, I don't even know what this shirt is. I should have dressed up for this tutorial, but I was like, nah, this looks fall enough. In the Kylie lip kit, if you guys don't already know, it comes with a pencil. It is a sharp, you can sharpen it. It's not one of those twisties. It definitely sharpens. This is what it looks like. I will swatch it right here. That's the pencil. I'm going to apply it to my lips. I normally don't wear lip liners. I can't stand lip liners. Kylie lip liners are the only lip liners that I will wear. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like your lips do look bigger when you use a Kylie lip liner. Really the color of this lip liner is like when it's Thanksgiving dinner and your grandmother or whoever brings over a pie, that real pumpkin pie, not that st store glow orange kind of pumpkin pie, a real pumpkin pie. So what an appropriate name to call it pumpkin. I love it. Now I want to go to Starbucks. I should have just kept my mouth shut. I don't fill in my lips when I put the lip liner on. Some people do. I feel like that's a waste of product. This is the matte lip color. People say that they flake. They never flake on me because you have to exfoliate your lips. It's a candy scent. I think it's pleasant. Some people don't like it. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this color right now. No, with Kylie, if you don't already know, with the lip kits, once they dry, they ain't budging. I feel like they're very comfortable to wear. They're one of my favorite. Besides ColourPop, these are my favorite liquid lips. One, one application, guys. One application, and look at that. Six are the best, period. You can't tell me no, because I know. Because now if you don't know, now you know, because I'm telling you. <laughs> this is the color Pumpkin Dried on Lips. What a perfect fall color. Look at how beautiful that color is. You could literally eat pizza and it's not coming off, period. Highlighter, love it. I especially love the compact. That's her old packaging. Well, I don't know if she's going to do this now with any upcoming highlighters, but she should. This is beautiful packaging. This is kind of like, it has a magnetic closure, so it's very secure. But this is what her old packaging looked like. This is French vanilla. Okay, I definitely would prefer this. this Whoa. Thing for this lipstick I love this okay I'm sure that all the other ones are just as good all Kylie's lipsticks are amazing wonderful and I love the way it glows the way these look even though you're saying oh no purple no way but look at how that looks go outside and really see how it looks it's incredible already a, a hit everybody loves these this is how she started her enterprise and I do have a couple comments on the palette okay I think that the yellow, I would have, I'm not gonna lie, I would have liked the yellow to be just a little bit more yellow. It's okay, so it's more like a gold. So I feel like they could have put a matte yellow there instead. Other than that, I think the colors are great. This color is tricky to me. I don't, it's very green in the pan and it rolls around. And look at how it comes off on the finger, but when you swatch it, it's like brown. It's very weird. I wish it would have had a little bit more mint green. I do love the palette. I am going to put it to use. Um, let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to review in the comment section down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for spending time with me. And I will see you in my next video. So, alright guys. Peace. I love you guys. Bye.